Okay. Okay. Before I begin obligatory sound test. Okay. Before I begin obligatory sound test. Okay, it sounds good. Let me make sure I'm launching the correct game. Legends Arceus, let's go. Guest. The account is called Guest. It's just my secondary account, really. Let me try something. Mm, yeah, it's quieter. Unless I did just cough right into the microphone and it wasn't actually muted like it was supposed to be. I certainly don't want to blow out anybody's eardrums. Okay, let's go. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well thou art that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arshish. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Unfortunately, this game genders the shit out of your character, so I can't play as Satu, so we're going to play as Satu's god niece. What is thy name? And great 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 grandmother. Mm-hmm. We're building some lore here. You are E-I. Before I confirm, let me make sure that I'm spelling that correctly. It is Yore. I wish I could read. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I'm pretty sure I'm spelling this correctly. I should have written it down somewhere I could find it first. Yes, that is the correct spelling of Yore. Okay, let's go. Also, hello, one viewer. I don't know if you're actually somebody who can chat, but if you can, what's up? I've been playing this on my own time, but I'm not very far because I'm not very patient. Yore! Or, wait, I was giving Arceus a silly voice. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that human call Pokemon. Mure. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Okay, good. That is capturing the correct audio. All things I should have tested before I started live streaming. No, our cell phone. Real talk, I would be 100% okay with this game being about Arceus stealing our cell phone, and then we go on a grand epic quest to get it back. I don't understand why Arceus is so popular. It's just a big llama. I guess llamas are pretty cool. Or is Arceus an alpaca? An alpaca crossed with a goat. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my girl? I hope nobody's here for consistent voices, because I don't do those very well. Here we are on Prelude Beach. You gave me quite a shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Where am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, 
Did you, uh, did the shock of the fall somehow addle your memory? Well, if I fell from the sky, I probably didn't come from here, now did I? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Uh, do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. So, you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Hmm? Somehow, I guess I'll figure it out. The professor looks worried about us. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. Foom. Plish plash. Are we going to ignore that Oshawott's basically speaking English over here? Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up with uh, these, caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems you have some common, or we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokémon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Our name is Yure for this adventure. Oh, so you are called Yure. That name has quite a ring to it. I'd imagine it must have some lovely meaning. I believe it means dim spirit. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself yet. My name is Leventon. Leventon Laventon. Livingston, I presume. I am something of a Pokémon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokémon. Yes, Pokémon such as these three were... And they're off. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokémon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. Wait! Well, looks like a... We've been here for ten seconds, and we're already on a fest que fetch quest. Fest quest. I might be a tiny bit tired. In fact, I think I've been tired since uh, 2019. No amount of sleep is enough sleep. Look, it's our cell phone. There's, uh, there's a glowing object, or there's a glowing beeping object over there. It's a cell phone, but Arceus did something to it, because he's weird. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it changed sa shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. One moment. Actually. Mm, sorry about that. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow, or I bestow upon thee this arc phone, and thy mission. Seek out all Pokémon. Now we're just casually receiving text messages from God. People have been burned at the stake for less. Sigh. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, oh, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs in their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give uh, you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and, is apparent, uh, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. And crew. And that one is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Foom. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating in the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. And plish plash. The other two do something interesting. This one does not. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. 
how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. You obtained 50 Pokeballs. What happens if I waste all 50? Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already that the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at them, uh, throw one of them at a Pokemon, and, why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have, er, uh, I've no one else to turn to. I'd be... I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Yeah, we all know how to throw Pokeballs. Mm, come on. Sweet, I caught a Pokemon. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Yure. Mm, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Yes. Okay, Ashwat next. Mm, come on, Ashwat. I can hardly believe it, Yure. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokémon, never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this, uh, sh wrap this up sharpest, shall we? As well, I'm about to run out of Pokéballs. As well, it. Okay, it's a race against the clock. No. I'm out of Pokéballs. We're just going to have to fight Rowlet. Look at him go. So small and round. I'm not in favor of Pokemon abuse, but that is a puntable Pokemon. <laughs> uh, professor, I've run out of Pokeballs. Mm, oh, if you run out of Pokeballs, do just say the word. <laughs> so they did figure people would do this. Now please, aim carefully before throwing. These Pokeballs are quite valuable, you know. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not going to waste these ten, but I do believe it's funny. Let's actually aim this time. And go! Look at that critical catch. At least it was like a critical back throw. Oh, and it broke out. Oh yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. Of course, I would save my uh, best throw. To explain that sometimes you just don't catch the Pokemon. Okay, Rowlet, stay in the ball now. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with other research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And, as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Yuri, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you can cat er, you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. There is actually Satu Deplor. Seek out all Pokémon. That object is an Arc phone, you say? Well, actually, Arceus calls it that, because Arceus is uh, pretty self-centered. Self -centered. I'm sure Arceus self-censors as well. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. 
You see, I've a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokémon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex, a Pokémon index, if you would. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokémon to be found in the region. Except we have detailed records on none of them. But in order to properly document Pokémon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokéballs have only just been invented, and not many uh, have mastered the skill t uh, of using them. I can read, I promise. And to you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokémon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokémon, and mine is to have all those Pokémon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Mm, you've convinced me. Then whoever and wherever you may be... Well, that's what he said. Uh, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first. Uh, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then onward to Jubilife Village. What is it? What do you see, Yore? Oh, it's the big ass wormhole. It do be spiraling. But it looks like it's spiraling outwards rather than inwards. Thank you for the tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokémon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Dude's just like, whatever, I'm not paid enough for this. Welcome to feudal Japan, basically. Except not. It's feudal Sinnoh. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Exploration Team. The road we're on now is known to the locals as Canala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, and many to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokémon, people hesitate to set foot outside of the village. Now that impressive building up ahead of us is the Galaxy Hall headquarters for the entire outfit. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokémon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, then to the left, the Wallflower, it's called. Oh, I'm getting another text message from God. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow, it seems to show you where you need to go next. Oh, never mind, it's not a text message from God. It was God updating my GPS. Now, one moment, I do want to test something. Ba -ba -bum. Now, one moment, I do want to test something. Okay, good. That do be working as I want it to. I would like a button that just does that for me, though. Hello, my weird man. Why is your mustache green, but your beard is gray? Is one of them fake? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Why does every character talk like this? The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Is that not a mustache? His hair looks green, if you look, you know, behind him. But then his beard is gray. Also, what a jerk. Hey, look, it's a... Uh, I don't know the canonical name for any of these characters. <clears throat> Who in the world are you? And what a bizarre garb you're wearing. Or what's that good bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice through those flimsy excuse for clothes. Hmm. 
uh, for you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Leventon? Do you two know each other? He is from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Uh, three more of them got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been res uh, resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled them for sure. But the professor, well... Unfortunately... Oh, this is Levington now. Unfortunately, just as Ray says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Okay, so that's Ray, and I'm your Ray. What if they're related to... Ack! But everything will be quite all right now. Yurei here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in, she's going to uh, join the sur Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Gah! Assuming this individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is... I am the captain of the Galaxy Team's Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Professor Levington has told me you... Er, uh, Levington. Professor Levington has told me you helped secure his Pokémon when they slipped his control. And now it seems uh, he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for doing... Er, uh, for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. I'm quite old enough to work your keep. Work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without uh, any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, uh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your pot potato mochi never fails to please. Where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Oh, well, you know that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Was that a joke? Mm, come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now you already know there are many Pokémon here in Hisui region, or the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Yure will come in. She successfully caught three Pokémon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Only needed, like, 60 Pokéballs. Nobody in Team Galaxy, uh, nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokémon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokémon while fending off their attacks. Ah, oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokémon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokémon is getting close enough to aim your Pokéball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have leeway to be, uh, enjoying a leisurely meal, leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress, uh, yeah, the slow progress on that Pokédex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Yore. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. 
The team provides for all its members' uh, needs, even if said member fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about this. Do you know, uh, do you know that we can get... Do you know that we won't have... We won't get to have Yure join the survey team, or survey corps, unless she passes a trial? I'm tired. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Yure's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Yure, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. That's not a lot of Survey Corps houses. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you to tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Hmm, one moment. Captain Saline, uh, like Hesui, in a way, they're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I'd imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Mm, don't let the bed bug Pokemon bite. Mm, still, people falling from the sky. That's some kind of story. Yeah, why didn't I fall closer to Mount Cornet? Or Mount Coronet, sorry. Hello there, stranger. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hun. Where might they be from? They're from the year 2022. In the distant future, 2004. Well, this place seems cozy enough. It's even got a little hearth thing in the middle. Sleep until morning in the futon. Oh yeah, I ignored the thing telling me to save, so it, uh... Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out survey work in the Hisui region. Yes. There is an autosave feature, but it's telling me to save often. I can't change my outfit yet. Might as well just sleep till morning. Yes. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. The next day, one moment, I'm just t trying to get some of my Discord friends in chat. Oop, come on. Mm, hey in there, you wake up? Or are you awake? Give me a second. Bam, 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 bam. Mm, there we go. Uh, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. It's time to become proper members of the Galaxy Survey Corps. It's just core, but... We're a ghost-type trainer, so we might as well call it Corps. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. I'm recording audio. Yes, I'm streaming audio. Same difference. We'd better not keep Captain Saline waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. Which building is it again? Mm, the big brick one. I do like that they're clearly working on it, but eventually those scaffolding, the scaffolding does dis disappear. But the building doesn't change at all. I don't think I wasn't paying attention. 
But the positive part about live streaming it is that we get to document the changes, if any. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever been, ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. You, uh, do realize that if you fail the trial and get flung out into the village, uh, you could die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. I don't know why I can't just throw hands. Why do the Pokemon get to attack me, but I can't fight them back? Captain Saline, ma'am, I've brought you a... You may enter. You may enter. What does she sound like? I've already forgotten. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, you've... Uh, prove yourself capable by going out into the obsidian fields and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away, but none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of the Survey Corps' satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Mm, that whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit, you, uh, uh, suit our satchels in the least. Ray, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Press the Y button when consulting the map on your ARC phone and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and, give, uh, and given by people you meet. But also, there's really no reason not to do requests. It's how you unlock cool things. Pardon, Yure. Come with me for a moment. Mm, speaking of a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Yure absolutely must pass this trial. And as a Professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Mm. Crow. Foam. Plish plush. Go on, Yuri. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Let's see here. So we're monotyping Ghost. Let's go with Cyndaquil. Spoiler alert. Typhlosion is part Ghost this time around. Foom. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. Adorable. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach uh, for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you. So, take it. It's yours. You received Cyndaquil. Unfortunately, I have nobody watching or chatting, so I, I can't ask y'all to name this. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Cuckoo. Flash. Look at those two cheer on their pal Cyndaquil. 
Or maybe they just wanted to help Yure with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Yure fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Mm, cruel. Mm, plish plash. By the way, what species has Captain Saline charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian uh, Fieldlands. Farlands, what are they called? Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. You obtained 20 Pokeballs, which brings the total of Pokeballs this man has given me to 80. <laughs> of course, I, don't, I didn't keep any of the other ones. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate uh, to the left of, as you leave headquarters. You want to see something horrible? Excuse me. Look how small this tank is. This enclosure is way too tiny for poor little Oshawott. And then, of course, Rowlet, just hanging out up here in a tree. And if I didn't pick Cyndaquil, he'd be hanging out in this little uh, fireplace right here with the leper berries. Speaking of leper berries, can I have those? No? Okay. Let us go. I would like to change my clothes. Hello, Cyndaquil. Mm, let me see here. Of course, it's a boy. Starters are 75% likely to be male. Although this game doesn't have breeding, so gender doesn't make a difference. As a they, them, and be gender is fake anyway. It was invented by that best-in-class brand to charge more for pink razors than blue ones. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your merchantile needs, or mercantile needs, here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've got a Pokémon. You've certainly, uh, uh, you're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokémon stand up to one another in battle? Mm, sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though, I hope you know, you'll lose if your Pokémon's HP reaches zero. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to battle. Volo sent out Togepi. Go, Cyndaquil. So, one of my favorite features of this game is that you can just run around during battle. Okay, quickly. Cyndaquil, use Quick Attack. And Togi, Togepi used Tackle. Okay, Cyndaquil. And quick Attack. I'm just gonna stand here. Togepi used Tackle. Okay, Cyndaquil. Mm, quick Attack. You defeated Togepi. Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Held items, however, are not a thing. It's always good fun to have your Pokémon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. And Pokémon sometimes learn new moves as they level up. Yes, they do. But so few people here have their own Pokémon. If only more knew how to use Pokéballs. At any rate, I'll, uh, let me help you, our two battlers recover from their ex exercise. Where did I learn how to read? Because I'm starting to think I didn't. 
and to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Oh, so you're like a Pokemon employee. A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to so restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping to uh, hoping that you s you're successful in that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. I can't believe so many people assume that Volo is the villain. Volo's just a silly guy. Very weird, though. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have uh, your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Whenever you leave Jubilife Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let Ress, the guardsman, know where you're off to. That way, someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it through this. That makes two of us. Go, Cyndaquil. And Cyndaquil, use Amber. Or not. You're Yure, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. I'll try, but I ain't promising anything. Welcome to camp. And this is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the Professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, Professor, something wrong. Oh, well, you see, Captain Saline uh, got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Yure's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. So in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here, not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, er, uh, you'll be more than equal to the... No, that's what he said. To this year, eh? Mm, so, Ray, I do have a question. Those shoes you're wearing, are those potato sacks? Can you not afford real shoes? Do you, want, do you need me to pitch in? This is Aspiration Hill. It's where you aspire to be a better Pokemon trainer than you currently are. Obsidian Fieldlands. And then something I can't read below it. Look, a Bidoof. We're fine. Oh, come on. I was reading that. Uh, you may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Saline taught me. Yeah, I know how to throw Pokeballs. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. Okay, there's Bidoof. Let's sneak up on it. Hey there, little buddy. How you doing? Getting the ball. <laughs> I caught it 100% unawares. One Bidoof caught. Now, uh, on we march. That kid's got energy for days. I genuinely did not know that uh, your rival's name was Ray when I named my character Yure. Look, it's a Starly. Now, Starly here, it's the type to run at the drop of a hat. But not to worry. Crouch down in the grass, and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. 
That's a good thing the game won't let me roll yet. Mm, give me a second here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, Starley. Surprise! And that's Starley caught too. I admit I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna do it before he tells me to. Mm, thank you for the orange berries, Cyndaquil. I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. Uh, how to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Saline's wise teachings, have an item uh, at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready when you want to throw an item? Press X. The captain's a real expert on these things, whatever press X means. Then, once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming at certain rocks or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it'll bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached our final hurdle, catching a Shinx. But I already, uh, already shook it through the tree. Mm, nobody wants to watch me play Legends Arceus, that's fair. I do have 22 followers, so you'd assume that at least one of them would make it. There it is, Shanks. Mm, 22 is not a lot of followers. And again, I've got 124 subscribers, and that's not a lot either on my YouTube channel. Welcome to Aunt Satu Saturday, but if you're watching this on my YouTube channel and post, uh, Saturdays, 10 p.m. or 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I stream. Come watch me, please. I'm lonely. Shanks, is an, uh, Shanks has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? Uh, yep. That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice things like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any Pokeballs you throw. But not to worry. I'll teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball and try to catch it. You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at the wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you've learned in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make the la your last, or whatever, I can't, I can't read. I'm illiterate. Completely illiterate. Mm, Shanks wants to throw hands. Okay, send a quill. Mm, quick attack. What if I KO the Shanks? Looks like we're having a quick attack off. I'm gonna do another quick attack, even though I could catch it in this state. I probably could have just thrown a Pokeball at it. Immediately. But we're all about having fun here. On Aunt Satu streams. Stroke. Storyteller WMD. Let's go. Wait, did you really? You really did. You did it. That's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. That or this is the tutorial. You must have given Professor Leventon the shock of his life. First, you fall from the sky. Then you go and catch all of our escaped Pokemon, one after another. I honestly didn't believe the Professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. I'm going to catch a lot more Pokemon down the road, I assure you. Oh ho, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Yure. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. See, that's a relatively modern-looking camera. So what technology does and does not exist in this, uh, ancient past? I've got to admit, it's true, you've got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Saline. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? 
I can't wait around until nighttime to catch a uh, my first ghost type Pokemon. Because this is still the tutorial. Fifty minutes in, and we're still tutorializing. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have, uh, have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Saline wants our report. Uh, wants our report at headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Why can we only have six Pokemon, though? That seems pretty random, is all I'm saying. Look at him. Well, you kids have fun. I'm just going to let you return to the Pokeballs naturally. Because I wanted to capture that sound. This game doesn't have a lot of audio. Actually, that mixing is fine. I tested it earlier. If it turns out this is too quiet, I'll turn up the game capture slightly for the next stream. It seems you won't have to. Uh, we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations! You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like you could be worthy, but you cleared it. And this is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. You received Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then, you're to report uh, at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay, let's go get dressed. Get out the way, Ray. Before I go changing my clothes, do you have any outfits for me? Nope. Okay, let's go get dressed as they want me to. I can also finally change my contact color. Yes. Mm, Survey Corps uniform. Mm, Survey Corps sandals. Looks like I'm also wearing uh, bread bags on my feet. Ooh, what's lavender ice look like? Nice, nice. Mm, color contacts yellow. Yes. You've changed into the Survey Corps uniform. Might as well keep with the theme. If this is one of my usual character Satus, ancient ancestors, we might as well start the... Uh, Yellow-eyed lineage, super far in the past. Look at you, in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. But I do wonder when the captain, deci uh, when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Mmm, thanks, but I don't want to. I look like a dork. I mean, that's a given, but I look like a dork. Now, present yourself to the commander. Let's go. I do wish the game would let me roll. Come on. You got a combat roll everywhere. It's faster than walking. One moment. Hello, Commander. Well, I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you're Yure. It's an honor. You know your manners, at least. 
I've been briefed on this, your situation, including how you fell from this rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him. Yeah. Hmm. You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as potential of disaster. But as you passed the trial that was put on to you, no matter how odd you seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Yurei, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Let's go. Mm, so what's the story with the Abra? So the commander has er, so the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you'll move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you close, uh, closer toward that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you will need this. I received the recipe for crafting Pokéballs. And $3,000. Ray, or Ray, you are an expert at craft, crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit here what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your uh, survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me prattle on. Let's go to the craft works so you can try it yourself. Hello, Abra. Abba. Ababa to you too. Let's go. I keep trying to roll. Game won't let me roll yet. Well done earning a place in uh, in our team. My name's Anth. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I uh, ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. How are y'all getting my measurements? I hope you'll um, avail yourself to the village humble shops. Well, I was just given $3,000. Hey. Hey, this way to the craftworks. I saw you over there, Ray. Let me do some important stuff first. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. I received a modern jacket, modern trousers, and a pair of modern shoes. What a precious gift. Take good care of such fine whatever. One moment. Some shame and fancy kimono and fancy bottoms. What a precious gift. Please take good care of such fine attire. Special parcel. Pikachu and Eevee festival masks. Cool, I can now buy actual clothing. Eyeglasses. Dark slate. Yep, might as well put them on now. Well, let me uh, see what these flat caps look like. Yeah, let's go ahead and bounce. 
do come visit our humble shop again. I'll put it on the to-do list. And we have hit the hour mark. Can't wear an item with your hair styled this way. Modern shoes. Let's see what this outfit looks like. Mm, yep, looks like a dork. Yeah, I would like to remove my hat, though, is the problem. Yeah, let's go with this outfit for now. Let's go do my hair, see if we can get this weird rag off. Hello there, Baba. Let's get my hair did. Let's see here, what kind of look should we go for? Mm, shorn. Mm, curled. Mm, braids. Long. Mm, short. Let's go ahead and just go with long. Make it black. Make my eyebrows white for some reason. No, make them also black. Confirm. Lovely. I'll have you styled ready in no time. Sorry, I'm very easily distracted, and I got a Discord notification, but I couldn't find it. Not very good to be doing during a stream. Anyway, let's go actually uh, talk to what's-his-name. Ray. Hey, Ray, check this out. Ray, look behind you. Uh, this here's the craft works, and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Why is it on the floor? Pretty self-explanatory, right? Mm, do we sit on the floor as we craft things? Because otherwise, that's got to be bad for our back. Actually, even if we do, that's probably not good for our back. Yep, so uh, Ray's going to supply us with the stuff we need to actually craft a Pokeball. Yes. I can make stuff at the workbench. Ray supplied us with uh, 20 of the things we need to craft Pokeballs, which means we are Pokeball crafting fools. Ray's excited about it. Oh ho! Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe uh, this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokémon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokéballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokémon species can be duly recorded in a Pokédex. And on that note, here you are. You received a Pokédex. A volume of co uh, for compiling the collected results of such Pokémon er, of much Pokémon research. Professor Leventon uh, continually. Uh, Continually adds to uh, it with each report made to of new Pokemon species. I can read, I promise. Mm, yes. Not a lot of Pokemon encountered so far. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to uh, seek out all the Pokemon there are in the gra this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come, join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good Yure. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? 
I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my spot, but I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. And believe me, we want to do this guy's quest. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wampum. Have you heard of it? Nope. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. And so I decided I want to raise a Wampum myself and have it evolve. But, part of the survey, er, you're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wampel, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just to get me a Wampel if you can. I'll do it. But only for the attention. And this lady just wants me to complete the Pokedex entry on Starly. Yep. I can't remember what this guy wants. Oh, he just wants me to show him a Shinx. I can do that here. Hello, new viewer. Welcome to Aunt Satu Saturday. I'm an hour and six minutes in, but I'm actually still in the tutorial. So that's always fun. Uh, one moment. That's it. Its ears have a yellow cross pattern on them. Seems kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. I felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get the bone out. Yes. Also, I don't think that uh, metaphors work how you think they do. Or the similes. It was a metaphor he had turned into a simile. Yep, let's head out to the field land camps. I'm probably going to stream for another hour. But we have so much research to do, I'm likely not going to make too much progress towards the story in that time. Righto! Let's uh, get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex uh, for you to reference any time. Yep, I know how the Pokedex works. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards as you work. Now, there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Yure. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it, because it quite literally do... Mm, dodge. Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. Those shoes are still bothering me, and I do not know why. See? That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those Shinx got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the Survey Corps hadn't uh, come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you, the, uh, give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. I feel like Ron Swanson walking around in the Home Depot. It's like, I know more than you. Also, I can finally roll. Which means that it's time to turn on the turbo button. And move around exclusively like this. Get ready for some Survey Corps wisdom. Uh, focus on a Pokemon with ZL, then press down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Did you see that? Your research tasks for Bidoof include uh, one about how many you've caught. That's right. Catching just one won't do, do it. Uh, you've got to get two, then four, then more and more. Need to catch 7,000 Bidoof. And when it's time to battle a Pokémon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokémon. Give it a try if you want. I'll go on ahead. How about you leave me alone to catch ghost types? 
Badoof, number I've caught. I need to catch 25. Number I've evolved, only need to evolve one. And then, of course, there is a Badoof side quest that I can't do quite yet. Mm, turn around, you don't see me. It's better to catch Pokemon when they're unaware of your presence. Missed. Well, Badoof is now aware of me. And my shenanigans. Go. Unfortunately, the game won't let me sleep until night. Because I've still got to finish the tutorial. Technically speaking, we don't have a ghost type yet in this ghost monotype run. I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. Yep. Just try it for the Starly. I need to complete the page on the Starly decks for a side quest anyway. Uh, I'll go wait up ahead, catch some Starly, blah blah blah. Come on, game. I know I've not been taking this as seriously as I could be, but an hour-long tutorial? That is still going on? Good, none of the other Starly noticed. But when I miss, it's more obvious. Missed a second time. Let's see here. I need to catch 25 of them as well, and then evolve three. I do get research points for completing the ones that don't have the red arrows. I just don't get nearly as many research points. And somebody who's impatient would like to do this in as little uh, tasks as possible. Missed. Just stay there, Starly. Starly, quit running from me. And Starly, we're destined to be best friends forever. Just stay in the ball. It's a good thing they're stupid. Because I am also stupid. Makes it fair. Nope, I'm too short. And Shinx, just stay there. I'll get this eventually. Whoops. And fine, I'll do this on your terms. Mm, let's go ahead and just throw a ball, because I don't need to weaken it. It's only level 4. And then I should probably see what Ray wants me to do. I need to find that little grove that has a lot of apricorns, because I keep running out of those. Oh, nice. That's some tumble stones. Okay, Ray, what's next on the agenda? Around here, you can find Pokemon called Buizel. Uh, it's got an aggressive disposition, meaning that if it sees you, it will want to throw hands. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. Look at them sharp teeth. And speaking of which, your research task for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. You've got to see the move in battle for it to count towards the ta that task, so battling is extra key here. I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off the Buizel tasks. Or some Buizel tasks. Probably have to catch like 50 of these guys. Oh, that's not even a Pokeball anyway. Okay, Cyndaquil. We're at a type disadvantage here, so... I'm just going to throw the ball. And hope this lands. And stay in the ball, por favor. And thank you. I am, of course, going to have to do a ton of non-ghost-type combat for the sake of tasks. Okay, use Ember. 
I do also need to see Cyntiquil use Ember like 700 times. That is one of my billion tasks. On a serious note, though, where did Ray end up? There's Ray. I was hoping I could get some folks talking in chat. Probably should have live streamed when this game officially came out on Thursday night. Nice apricorns. Probably going to teach me about apricorns. Uh, you're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Crafting kit contains everything you might need for crafting, even when there is no workbench around. However, you can only use materials you have in your satchel. Yep, I know how to craft Pokeballs. Now I know how to craft potions. I just need ore and berries and those leaks I've been avoiding. With the crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a Pokeball anytime. Or, with an orange berry and a medicinal leak, you can whip up a potion, uh, so heal your Pokémon whenever they're need, uh, they need healing. Research going alright? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokédex cover. I've got 19 to report. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Leventon. See you soon. I do need to catch more Starly. I'm going to see if I can't find a Wurmple. They're around here somewhere. Nope, that's just a Starly. I should be collecting as many Tumble Stones as I can. Not a lot, but I'm a bit further in my main file. I've been mostly using Heavy Balls. There's no cool particle effect, but Heavy Balls are just an all-black Pokeball, so... Aesthetically, they're more pleasing than these regular old Pokeballs. Mm, shanks. I didn't want to do combat. I do need to use Ember several more times, so I might as well do this, though. Oh, I critically hit. If I can defeat Pokemon, they'll occasionally drop items called Grit. There's Grit, Sand, Pebbles, and whatever. This is a bad example, because he didn't drop it. But there are no EVs in this game, I don't think. There are effort, le uh, effort levels, though. Which are similar, but I don't understand them. Ugh. You can shimmy your way up most mountains, or a lot of mountains in this game. But there's a way you're intended to climb them. But that's like seven hours in, if you're like me and don't do a lot of research. I would actually like to rest until nightfall. This is a ghost monotype run. Let's get ourselves a ghost type Pokemon. Well, while I'm here, I'm going to craft more Pokeballs as well. Better than having to open up the window to do it. Because inventory management in this game is a pain. I keep pressing plus. But that just summons ride Pokemon. Which if what you're trying to do is open your inventory. Uh, you don't want to be summoning ride Pokemon. And then of course X cycles between pockets. There. Behold, ghosts. Does it actually see me? I'm going to say yes. Okay, so like a ghost type Pokemon, there it is. It's just going to pop up somewhere. Okay, Drifloon. Get in the ball.
And a successful catch. Let's see what kind of, uh... Not wrong button. Let's see what kind of quests I've got. Number caught, I need to catch 25. I need to evolve one. And then that's a side quest I'll be able to do, do, do eventually. I can words good. Whoop. And stay in the ball, Drifloon. Mm, much appreciated. So I still haven't found Wurmple. Pretty sure you can find Wurmple at night. That's not what I'm here looking for, of course. I'm trying to catch ghosts. Oh. I've been spotted. It's just a level 2 Drifling, though. How are you faster than my Starly? Let's go ahead and just throw a Pokeball. I need to catch myself several ghosts to better understand them. And that can temporarily just fill my inventory or party with nothing but drift loons. And that way it's a proper ghost monotype run. Mm, just throw the ball. Let me make sure I'm actually recording commentary. Ba -ba -bum. Yes. I need a third monitor so I can keep track of these things. Mm. Wormple spotted. You don't see me. And we've caught ourselves a Wormple. I'm going to want to find a few more because one thing we need to do is evolve three Wormples. And three is a couple Wurmples. Mm, it's on the prowl. Ow. Mm, fine. I'll challenge you. Let's go. Let's go ahead and just use a Pokeball. If I allow my Pokemon to reach too high of a level, they're just going to straight up stop listening to me. So at the very least, I want to get Cyndaquil out of my party relatively soon. Hush, little drift loon, don't say a word. Auntie's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Let's see. Mm, that's a Bidoof. Also Bidoof. Mm, those of you in chat, uh, if you were a Wurmple, where would you be hanging out? I need you to put your, uh, put yourself in the brain of a caterpillar. Mm, Wurmple. Stay in the ball. Thank you. Nobody said anything in chat, but putting your brain in the body of a Wurmple worked. Through the power of the Caterpillar hive mind, I was able to find more Wurmples. Mm, Wurmple. And this game actually does have a lot of charm. There are a couple things that I miss, though. Nice, Apricorns. Can I fly? Nice. Yes, I would like to rearrange my party, por favor. Mm, Cyndaquil, replace with a uh, Drifloon. Actually, I want that Drifloon first, then this Drifloon, then this Drifloon, 
And then for no reason at all, because I'm out here anyway, I need three Wurmples. Okay, let's go. I'm also going to rest until night again, just because it's probably going to be morning soon. Or, you know what, I'll wait until evening. And this simple quest that's supposed to just take me a tiny bit has taken me, like, two days within uh, in-game time. Okay, so he needs more Wurmple. Probably best to avoid Shinx. Our only Pokemon right now are part flying. Get back here, Bidoof. Get in the ball. Yeah, this game does not have a whole lot of, uh, let's play value, if that makes sense. Let me nickname my Drifloon so that I don't forget which one she is. Chick Summary. Ghost Flying. Oh, special attack down. So that's probably not the best Drifloon to make uh, our main girl. This one's also special attack down. This one is all around good, so let's just keep this one. Change name. What should we name the Drifloon? Let's go ahead and just call it, uh... Mm, Moketsu. Mm, perfect. Grab. There we go. And now we already always know which one is our main Drifloon. Because otherwise I will forget. Oh, I lost my viewer. I don't know who this one viewer is who I've kind of always got. And presumably it's me, but occasionally I've got no viewers, so that can't be true. Oh, hey, look, there's a Drifloon hanging out in the evening. I guess that makes sense, but I could have sworn they only come out at night. Mm, successful catch. Mm, go grab some berries for me, Moketsu. Mm, thank you. Hi, Bidoof. Good, it's extremely unobservant. Notice that one, though. Okay, yeah. That was a waste of Pokeballs. I've probably done enough research to reach one star, though. Mm, don't look this way. So let's get a tiny bit of levels on our uh, drift loons, and then we'll head back to town. I should try to finish the uh, Pokedex page on Starly, actually. I don't know if Starly are out and about at night, so I might need to wait until day again. Now, this would be a lot more fun with people in chat. The amount of editing it would take to do a Let's Play of this game is just absurd. But like a casual chatting experience while you go around completing uh, menial tasks. That's probably what this game is best for. If we could get some human, being is, uh, human beings in chat, we could probably have them. Are you following me, Bidoof? And help me uh, name some Pokemon as well. Gotta have actual bodies for that, though.
I've got like 15 people in my chat at all times, but I'm going to assume that all 15 of them are bots. And none of them ever say anything. It's extremely lonely being a Twitch streamer with no viewers. Well, it's also no longer Saturday. I mean, it hasn't been Saturday for a lot of people for a while now. But it's not Saturday for me anymore, either. Aunt Satu Saturday has turned into Aunt Satu Sunday. Turned into Aunt Satu Sunday. Y'all ever wonder if I'm an idiot? I think I might be an idiot. Let's go ahead and rest until midday. Okay, let's go. I need to catch myself a tiny bit of Starly and then I can actually head back to town. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and bum, 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 craft Pokeballs. I'll craft all 25 I'm able to craft. You can never have enough Pokeballs, especially when you're as bad at throwing them as I am. What's this? Oh, a free Apricorn. That was thoughtful of nature. And technically, they're all free Apricorns. Still gotta pick them, but I'm not paying anything. Okay, there's a Shinx. Do want to avoid with my ghost type. Well, flying ghost. Ghost has no particular weakness against electricity, but flying certainly does. Okay, how many of these have I caught so far? Five. Mmm, catching Starly. Nice, that one even had an apricorn on it. Okay, let's head back to camp and then just redo that. I do genuinely like this game. I will go ahead and rest until midday again. Mm, don't worry, Professor. I'll talk to you in a moment. I just gotta fill out my uh, Starly decks before I return. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do it when I come back. I don't know what that was, but I, but excuse me, I think. Oh, there's no Starly here. Where am I supposed to find Starly? To fill out the decks. Aha, a Starly. And it's as blind as I am. I may have to rest until night, and then rest until midday again to get them to spawn. I didn't interact with, a uh, Buizel at all. But I also don't have to, not right now. I'm going to, of course, do all, like, story beats, and fun dialogue, side quests, stuff like that. On stream. But simple things like catching Pokemon over and over again, kind of like I'm doing now. And that can definitely be done on my own time. I've got to watch my uh, Cyndaquil use Ember ten times without allowing him to level up. So I can probably just have him use Ember and then flee battle. Bit of a cheese tactic. But Doof, have you seen any Starly around? I want to fill out my decks real quick. 100%ed in the first uh, two hours. Let's go ahead and sleep until nightfall. Mm, 
now sleep until midday and see if this works. If not, then cheesing it isn't an option. This game has a lot of weird background ambient sounds that I don't know what are. Yes, it's Dali. That failed. Eat the berry. Also failed. He's onto me. I've got to catch him. Happy flew away. I'll be stealthier with these next several. I say, is they're already onto me? Missed. Missed. There we go. With that other guy, there he is. It's a good thing he's deaf, apparently. Hey. You get back here and stay in that ball. And he flew away. I need one more. That's a Shinx. If I wasn't so darn stupid, I'd have it already. I actually think I only need 10 to fill it out, but my goal is for 12. So I'm just going to go with all 12 in one go. There. Caught 12. I can see another Starly, but I can continue to just farm them off screen. I'm going to require a lot of balancing. Like, I can't have my main party of Pokemon with me while I'm out here doing research, otherwise they'll all level up. And if they become too high of a level, they'll just straight up stop listening to me, and ain't nobody want that. Hello! I'd like to report. One moment. Oh, well, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Perfect, er, excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Mostly money. Mm, holla holla, get that dollar. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. I've completed quite a few. Mm, Pokemon caught... 39. If I had caught one more, I would have, it would have been 40. Darn it. Uh, 30 or more on one report. Different size Pokemon caught. Or different Pokemon species caught. Caught using Backstrike 8. Nice. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update your Pokedex with this new data. Hmm... Complete upload to, to level 10. I words good. Yes, I completed the Starly. And Rifloon and Wumple. Wait, well, if you look here, Cyndaquil, I need to watch him uh, use Ember. He's used Ember four times. I only need him to use it uh, 11 more times. I can, watch, I can use Ember 11 times without actually gaining EXP. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Yore. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Saline. It's time you earned yourself a star. Oh, please, I am a star. Okay, as important as getting a rank is, let me show you all one of my favorite interactions in this entire game. Have I caught a Wurmple you can have? Yes. 
Not that one. This one. Yep. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautyfly. So, I should give it a name with that in mind. It could also evolve into not a Beautyfly. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these names do you like best? Beauticia, uh, Beautifred, or Bugeen? Bugeen, 110%. Yeah, I like Bugeen too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Bugeen to be a splendiferous beautifly. Wait and see. I can't remember what the alternative is. Dusk Tox? Yeah, Dusk Tox. Bugeen is 100% going to become a Dusk Tox because this guy wants it to become a beautifly. Also, you wanted to look at the Pokedex entry for Starly. Oh, you've completed Starly's entry in your Pokédex. Hurry, let me read it. Hmm, wait one moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances. Let me see. So the markings on their forehead are different sizes. Incredible. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokédex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. Yes. The smooth curl on its, uh, f of its feathers on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely. Through and through. I adore it down to, its, the, la to the last feather. I can read, I promise. Well, hello there, Starly. Mm, want to pet it? No. I think I'm quite satisfied just looking uh, at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who, uh, who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Uh, some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. It didn't work on you, but okay. Nice, ten free Pokeballs. I wonder what a Starly would like. Mm, well, they like berries. Can I feed you? Eat it. No. Let's go. Hello, I've ranked up. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. New rank. I wouldn't call those stars. They're more like ninja stars. But we're not ninjas. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will obey your orders reliably in battle. The, rewar uh, the rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Recipe for crafting heavy balls. I need black tumble stones, though, which I can't easily acquire. Um, that a stranger like you could fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like uh, this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone, and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. And keep at it, and even, you, uh, even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make your life uh, make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Getting work on research tasks. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower. Have a good night's rest. What if I sleep during the day like I do IRL?
Mm, so, you're a, my girl. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request uh, Beauregard had? Which one is Beauregard? Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed, right? So it's our job as the Survey Corps to take care of any issues uh, that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. And some people will ask you for help uh, when you talk to them, while others re uh, other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached, uh, approached with a request recently, Ray? What is it all about? That one might be a bit for Yore, uh, might be a bit for your, uh, better fit for Yore than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah, yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived uh, here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. Including more about local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. They don't have silverware, so I wonder what's with the sound of clattering silverware. Hey, Yuri, before I go meet Mai about the request, mind showing me how, do you, how you do in battle? Okay. Great, I'll be at the training ground. If you've uh, been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. I am going to want to go grab Cyndaquil, actually, because we need to watch him use Ember more times. Let's go. I'm almost at the two-hour mark, so I need to finish some of this tutorializing. Last thing I want to do is be out and about, out and about in the fields. I can words good, and then accidentally encounter like a some combat or not combat, but like story beat. I suppose I could turn off autosave, save often while I'm out and exploring, and then if I do trigger a cutscene, just avoid that spot. Or just easily avoid that little symbol, like the one he's got over his head. Thanks for taking a minute for me. Uh, I know your plate's full right now. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. Mm. Everything at all? I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member, but I've been, er, I've even got, and I've even got my own Pokemon, but I just can't do it. Mm, you have a Pokemon? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. That's a Pikachu. Apparently that's a big ah. This is my Pikachu. Uh, during that Shanks attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And... And really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? Biga. But watching you at work, completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my Survey Corps work well, uh, my partner and I have got to be a team. And our first step towards being a real team is battling your team. I have one Pokemon, or you have one Pokemon. I've got six, even though half of them suck. Ray sent out Pikachu. Go, Cyndaquil. Fight. Pikachu used Thunder Wave. Really? Paralyzing me right out the door? Can anybody else say rude? Okay. I can attack twice if I do this. Mm, fight again. Oh, paralyzed and can't move. I like how I said I need to be using Ember and then I'm not.
Don't die, Cyndaquil. Oh, and Cyndaquil's paralyzed and can't move. Rest in peace, Cyndaquil. Let's go ahead and send out Moketsu. Mm, fight! Let's go ahead and use Hypnosis. Pikachu grew drowsy. Thundershock. Well, of course it's still able to hit. Let's go ahead and use Confusion. Mm, not enough to wipe it out. Mm, Moketsu. Confusion again. Battle decided. Whoa, you seem so in sync with your Pokemon. I could have done better. Ooh, sweet, two of my Wurmples can evolve. I should have had another Wurmple with me so that I could evolve all three that I need for that, uh, research quest. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up as best we can, right, Pikachu? Bia. Ah, uh, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack. Uh, you see, that's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me uh, might be getting a little bit friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Yep, I know the type matchups. Mm, so you're the one. Uh, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Yes, I will make everyone sound like this. My name is Zisu, captain of the security corps. I see, you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give you what advice I could. And captain Zizu is a master of an ancient martial art uh, where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokémon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. I've already done that. On one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterwards, it will take longer for your Pokémon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokémon can act more quickly afterwards. In Truly favorable conditions. It might even get out two moves before the wee opponent can act. I can read. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Mm, choose which one is right for my stuff. Choose which one is right for uh, a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. I'm surrounded by energy drink cans. People are going to realize I don't sleep. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokémon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about uh, find out about before going to tackle Mai's request. You remember? I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down to see about Mai's request. I suppose I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of uh, Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready, uh, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double-checking what Pokémon you'll bring, and maybe even teaching them some moves from Zizu. I'm getting tired. I mean, I woke up tired, but I'm getting tired. Yes, I would like to learn some new moves. Moketsu, select. I want her to learn Ominous Wind. And, uh... Calm Mind. No, let's not learn Combine. Let's learn Swift. There we go. Now, a pretty cool feature is if I open my inventory, come here to Moketsu, I can go to Change Moves. And let's just say I don't want to know Astonish. I want to learn Ominous Wind. And then I can learn Swift here to hit things that are weak to normal type moves. Let's go ahead and hit Confirm. Yes. The problem here is that Pokemon cannot master moves that they learn that way. You've got to use uh, Seeds of Mastery or whatever they're called. 
Like, they can't master the moves naturally, I mean. Let me go ahead and grab my other worm pull. Yes, I would like to bum 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 bum. Which Wurmple was it I had traveling with me? Probably this one. Mm, let us go. Let us put on a show. Yep, we're heading to the one area I can actually head to. It's only five minutes before I hit the two hour mark, but I'm probably going to keep going until I unlock the second camp and more of the region to explore. Boo. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. Volo, you are in your 20s, sneaking up on a 15-year-old girl. That's a little bit creepy, my dude. There's a secret technique to catching Pokémon, you see. It's called the Secret Backstrike Technique. I've done it several times, Volo. Go away. Hitting a Pokémon's back with a Pokéball will surprise it, making it easier to catch, or giving you an advantage once battle starts. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokédex, as they all are, uh, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I am already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. I've got this great idea for a mushroom recipe. Dude wants me to grab mushrooms, so I can learn how to make mushroom cakes. Basically, cakes are like a lore. I don't believe it causes Pokemon to spawn, but it will cause them to come from, like... Quite a wide space. Not what I wanted to do. Hey, Bidoof. Stay in the ball. Let me make sure I'm recording audio. Boom, boom, boom. I am. Bidoof, I made one request of you. Missed. Okay, fine. I'm done th wasting Pokeballs. Huh. Well, I was able to catch one of them. I just need that last Wurmple to level up. And then I can evolve all three and remove them from my party. Come on, that was a good throw. Okay, it's a Shinx. Moketsu use Ominous Wind. One hit KO. Okay, desperate times call for desperate measures. Wormple, you're going to take out a Bidoof. Oof. Okay, go ahead and use Tackle. Bidoof is looking around. Wurmple, use a Poison Sting. Good thing this Bidoof has no interest in attacking us, otherwise Wurmple would have fainted. Defeated Bidoof. Really? Look how close I am to leveling it up. Mm, I think I might have to fight that lady too. I would like to pass, por favor. Yes, I am a first star. As far as I can tell, that is the only time you're stopped from going anywhere, based on star level. Except new zones. You need to be the right star level to go to a new zone. But within the zone, this is the first time, last time you're blocked off. I think. Mm, this here is Yurei. My, my, a new face in the village. 
Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to be of help. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me May. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hesue. But such talk can wait right now. I'd rather uh, we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokémon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. The security core of yours uh, certainly wasn't up to the task. This here's my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Okay, Moketsu. Let us battle. Fight. Let's go ahead and use Hypnosis. Munchlax avoided it. Poo. Rollout is super effective. Come on, Hypnosis. Land this time. Munchlax avoided the attack. And Moketsu fainted. Let's go ahead and send out Drifloon. Use Hypnosis. If only Moketsu could have actually landed that. Munchlax is fixated on using Rollout. Okay, Drifloon, use Confusion. Use Confusion again. Much likes used rollout. It's going to be not drowsy in a bit here. Come on, Drifloon. Use confusion. It is literally all I've got. Okay. I know that sleep doesn't actually put Pokemon to sleep. But Munchlax has yet to be too drowsy to attack. Okay, let's go ahead and send out Wurmple. Not a ghost-type Pokemon, but I have no choice. Wurmple, use Poison Sting. Much likes is poisoned. So I'll win, but not because I'm any good at this. You defeated Munchlax. That took 700 years. I can also now level up my Wurmples. Or evolve. Mun, you really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of your Pokémon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. Uh, you people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Five Vivichooks. You and your Pokémon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one uh, we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I had someone to, er, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokémon causing trouble between Deer Track Heights. It's a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you, to Deer Track Heights? One moment, I'm getting a text message from God. The arc phone is beeping. Strange thing, uh, thing of me of yours telling you where to go. My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any problem handling an alpha. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps' new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know the Almighty Sinnoh? The Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. 
The almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hesui was born in the process. It's by the grace of the almighty Sinnoh that Pokémon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hesui region to venerate the almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human. It is the old tales, uh, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokémon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokémon that graces Deertrax Heights is one of those honored few it is directly descendant from a Pokémon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Yes, we will understand. Let me real quick evolve these guys. Yes, evolve. Do it. Okay, we got one Silicoon. Let's go ahead and evolve. We got another cas or we got one Cascoon. So that's one of each, which is good. Let's go ahead and evolve the final one. It'll be one or the other, let's find out. Just evolves into Giratina. We'll take another silicone, yeah. Okay, let's go. What does this guy want? Africans. What's up? Some cherry berries. Yeah, I don't have any of those at the moment. Actually, I've got a couple. I probably don't have enough. No, I have one. I need three. Geodude, so more Pokemon to be researching on my own time. And there's a black tumblestone. It's what you need to make heavy balls. Which, like I said earlier, are aesthetically the more pleasing ones. But I just like the color black. Or I guess absence of color, depending on how you choose to look at it. How many Pokeballs do I have? And I have 20. That should be plenty. No, that wasn't planned. Oh, so even uh, your professor decided to join us. How have you not been killed, old man? Whew, thank goodness, I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose it is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deertrack Heights. No sign of an alpha, though. This is where I've uh, long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Dilily woo! That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. I do love that the uh, Cricketune er, cry has just become a meme. And that's what you're here for, Yure, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokémon are ready for the battle. My, upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder Alpha Pokémon are feared across the land if they are all oversized as this one. 
Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this Alpha. So go show it uh, that beyond any mistaking. I can read. Be careful, Yurei. Size is a potential weapon in this, uh, in and of itself. No doubt this Alpha is p a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokémon have some strong moves at their disposal. Let's go. It doesn't see me. Oh, could I just walk up and talk to it? Lame. I wanted to back attack it. Diddly woo. Come on, Moketsu. I have faith in your ability to not die. That did a lot of damage considering it's a flying type move and you are a flying type Pokemon, Moketsu. Good news, Hypnosis. Cricketune avoided the attack. I'm just going to stop using Hypnosis. That never lands. Not bad. Um, potions. Store 60 HP. Hypnosis never works. Now, I could get stuck in a healing loop. Or I could mm, smack this Pokemon. I don't know if this is effective or not. Good news. Ominous Wind. At least it's got Stab. That did nothing. Rest in peace, Moketsu. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Except it kind of will be. Nobody's ever going to watch this. Mm, fight. Let's go ahead and use... Hypnosis. Why does Hypnosis work for this random Drifloon? Oh, it still landed in area, area Lace. I'll use Confusion. Which did not do a lot of damage, but it got its health down into the yellow. So I'm going to use a Pokeball. I'm not trying to run. I'm just skipping a uh, text. Okay, Cricketune. Just stay in the ball. Make this easier on both of us. You jerk. Okay, we've got ways of dealing with the likes of you. Cricketune. Not Cricketune. Cricketune's the opponent. Drifloon. Use Confusion. Okay, its health is now in the red. Also, not once has drowsiness caused one of my opponents to not be able to attack. So what's the point? Stay in the ball. Thank you. Caught the Cricketune. Let's go. Nice. One of my Drifloon learned a new move. The one that didn't die. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Look, it's that deer. It's got a big nose. Heckin' chonker of a honker. Unfortunately, because I'm ending the stream soon, I will not unlock the ability to ride this deer. Now, he looks upon you with kindness, Yuri. Yuri. I'd say the great Y deer, or yeah, Y deer, word deer, weird deer, wire deer, uh, has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. 
He is an esteemed Pokémon that can dash across the expanse of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokémon letting someone ride on it. Why? It's just like the ride Pokémon of Alola. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? I'm here on Captain Saline's orders. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once uh, Yure took care of the, her request. Ah, about that. I know this is a joint decision by uh, Adaman and Commander, but still, it's truly fine. Is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokémon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokémon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. The great Weirdeer, Wirdeer, has taken a liking to Yere as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Well, if we are to coexist and thrive with Pokémon, we'll need to know them better. And the first step towards that is completing the Pokédex. The Construction Corps uh, should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. I don't know what time it was when they started, but... I feel like it should not have taken that long to set up a few tents. I guess they did move rocks and bring out that banner. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? I can also fly to this base camp. Well, that's that. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? Hmm... Blah, blah, blah. Got some reward money. Hmm. How did I complete the Silcoon one already? But not the Cascoon. I guess I did evolve two Silcoon. Or, yeah, Silcoons instead of Cat. And only one Cascoon. I can words good. Unfortunately, more reading, but I think after this cutscene, they kind of let me free. Benny, you'll chum the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. That dude's posture is terrible. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzy cleavor from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The Medical Corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, this is the Clevor that was reportedly struck, down, struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Yire here can handle things just fine. But that Clevor's said to be much er uh, Clevor's said to be much stronger than an alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now now, you forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key uh, to the information that we of the Survey Corps are duty bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. The next day, just let me go. Rise and shine, Yure. The boss wants you. Uh, Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. I'll do that in like seven days. How are you banging on my door from this far away? Did you get a good rest? Look who's being punctual. Finally realized you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by 
bowing to a sham. I forgot these two. So much reading. So many voices I'm not going to do. There you go again, insisting your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha! You have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time uh, than when we make of uh, vast Hesui's space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, O oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointless vast space you are so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's, uh, yeah, in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan, in our world's very basis. You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. Just another day with these two, I see. That man's named Adaman. Uh, he's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you could probably tell. And the girl is uh, Iridia. Irida. I'm going to pronounce it Irida. Uh, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. Seems like they've uh, in inherited some bad blood from their predecessor's strife. Oh well, not our problem. But you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office, Yorei. And we're going to have problems because I'm going to see if it'll let me outside. <laughs> Heading outside? Hell yeah. Okay, so just shy of two hours and 30 minutes. I can't imagine anybody is still watching this if they are watching this in post, but uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Uh, this will be on my YouTube channel. If you do want to catch me live and chat, uh, twitch.tv slash uh Saturday is at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, be here or be square. That sounds weird. I know I'm going to stop the stream now. I will just be doing research on my own time. So next Saturday, we'll be uh, visiting to see what Kamado or whatever his name wants. Peace out.